It has been a day since Apple announced the new iPhone OS 4.0 update, which will be available this summer for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and for the iPad, it'll be available this fall. So yeah, we gotta wait a little while for that. However, I was lucky enough to acquire the beta version of 4.0 from someone named Dark Malik on Twitter. So follow him if he wants. Very, very special thanks to you, dude. And um, I really appreciate this. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of 4.0. Warning though, it is a little buggy. So first of all, we see the lock screen hasn't really changed. Actually, it hasn't changed at all. But as soon as we're on our home screen, you'll notice, yes, we finally have wallpapers. This comes straight from the iPad, in a way, since they're running the same OS. And to set your wallpaper, you can go to Settings, Wallpaper, and let's just go to Apple's default and set here. And let's go with the Mona Lisa. Now if we select set you'll see now that we have the option to set home screen set lock screen or set both so let's just set lock screen for this demos example now if we go back to the home screen you'll notice we still have the bubbles but if we reset my phone or well, sleep rather and wake it up here you go Mona Lisa is, a, is now in the lock screen pretty cool stuff okay so now let's go through different icons this is a little boring to most people but I find this interesting first of all I noticed that the calculator icon is immediately very different the compass icon looks a little different and might be my imagination I'm not really sure but it looks a little more saturated and the voice memos icon looks a little different well that's not so exciting let's go back to something more exciting and that is mail and now all of our mail is in one inbox now as you can see we have all inboxes which pretty much holds all of these inboxes that's primary the Francomedia mobile me and my business on the bottom side business that is so if I click or touch rather all inboxes now that's all of my messages in one which is nice easily the most hyped feature for iPhone 4.0 is multitasking and for very good reason it was hyped because it works very well for example purposes let's launch Safari here and we're on the social blog at thecreator1.tv, currently featuring over uh, 300 writers. So if you're interested, check it out. Now, as you can see, we're in Safari, and normally we would just exit this app and go into, for example, uh, photos. But no longer do we have to do that. Now in Safari, or any app for that matter, double click the home button, and you get a little drawer down there that pops up. Now, these are all the apps that I've launched today. So we have photos, mail, settings, phone, messages, twit, dictation, camera B, and 360 Live. So to go into an app, you simply touch it. And now, as you can see, it takes us back where we left off. And in this case, it's wallpaper. Now to go back to Safari, double tap, and we're back. Now I tested this with Pandora, and for some reason, the music stopped when I exited. So Pandora maybe has to make changes to the app. Uh, coding so maybe that's why it's not currently working but as you can see the core feature of multitasking works beautifully and if you want to quit an app simply hold it down touch the red and it's that easy now currently there's no way to close all of the apps at once unfortunately so it's kind of annoying to go through one app by one app but at least the features there and I'm sure we'll be seeing um, increased features uh, increased functionality rather in the near future. Okay, so this feature is a big one. This is a feature I've been wanting for years now because look at all the apps I have. I don't know how many exactly, but I have like nine pages or so, something like that. And it's just a lot of apps to go through. Yes, you could just search, for instance, I'll type AOL, and AOL Radio is there, which is nice. I mean, it's quick, it's easy, it's painless. However, there are times where I just want to have groups of apps in the same folder, for instance, games. Uh, but for this video's purpose, I'm just going to do a bunch of random apps. So we'll take AppBox Pro, hold it down, you get that little jiggly effect where the icon just shake around. Now if you drag the icon around it, you can normally just rearrange it. But if you hover over an icon, you see a little box pop up. And there it is. Pretty cool stuff, very easy. Now let's take Bing, drop it in, and you're done. Now if you want to edit that, while you're still in edit mode, you can edit the uh, actual title, which is nice. So we can call this 
just call, I don't know, random. Doesn't really matter what we call it right now. Then just touch outside and you're done. Press the home button and they'll stop jiggling. Now to get to those apps, you simply touch the folder icon and you get a cool drop down effect. And now I can touch alarm clock and my alarm clock app launches. Very cool stuff, very easy. And as, as Apple said, they took a while to do this but at least they finally did it right and as far as I can tell so far my battery life is great. Also I noticed some changes in photos. If you go in your photos app and you look at your albums down here now I believe this is new. We have albums, events which is handled by iPhoto by the way and faces. So if I go through my friends here and family I'll just go to uh, my pictures. They're all the pictures of me. And yeah, good times in college. So I just think that's pretty cool that they're allowing a little more organization. Now, before there was a places icon down there like it is on the iPad, uh, but I launched it, it would crash a photos app, I would go back in, and it just didn't work. It, it just wasn't there anymore, so I don't know what the deal with that is. This next feature is not a big one, but I found it interesting. Before on the iPhone or iPod Touch, if you searched something in Spotlight, it would say no search results found. For instance, if I search something totally random such as, I don't know, coffee. Actually that's showing up because I have coffee stuff on here. So let's search coffee mug. Nothing shows up except now search web and search Wikipedia shows up, which I think is pretty interesting. So it's a little shortcut. Just touch search web. It'll create a new page. Actually it doesn't create a new page, does it? Actually it did, yeah. And then it automatically searched in Google, as you can see, coffee mug. All right, real quick, let me go through camera. There are two pretty big upgrades here. Now here's your regular still mode. If I was to take a picture of my cinema display, I could tap that to adjust the exposure and focus and just take a picture and drops it into my album. But now if I tap anywhere, a zoom functionality shows up. So now I can zoom in. Oops, I'm looking at the camera here. I can zoom in on the Apple logo. So it's pretty cool. Now it's not optical zoom, so don't expect excellent quality. Now if we go to video, if I wanted to record a video, now I can autofocus by my tap of the finger, or the tap of my finger I should say, after recording. Before this was not possible, you had to press focus before recording and then you were stuck with that current focus so, but now you can change your focus anywhere you want which is a pretty nice feature this final feature is a big one I can see this thing going a long way and that is called Game Center think of it as Xbox Live but for your iPhone and iPod Touch the iPhone and iPod Touch have plenty of games as, sure, as, I'm, as I'm sure you already know and this is a way to keep track of your friends obviously I don't have any friends right now because it's not active as I just said and friend requests and there's my me profile um, now I obviously can't log in or do anything but as far as I know you can have achievements you can have um, points and all that good stuff so it'll be a more interactive way of playing your games and I, I just I just think that's pretty cool alright guys that's it thanks for watching my iPhone OS 4 beta special thanks again to Dark Malik on Twitter and as always check out my social links under the video for Twitter Facebook daily booth my Facebook app for um, email alerts when I upload new videos and all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in my next video.